Ten members of the women's track and field team will be competing in 12 events in Eugene, Oregon for the NCAA championships. They will be led by Shalonda Goodman, who qualified in three events. Okay, Shalonda, of your three events, which one do you find the most challenging? I would have to say the 100 because I think the 200 was just made for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the 100 is a little bit more technical, but it's still a lot of fun. How do you train for such short distance events? You think about marathon training, and obviously you're building up gradually to your distance. But when you're just running 100 meters, just 100 meters, it would take me a lot longer than it would take you. How do you train for those events? Just doing a lot of speed work, and like I said, it's very technical, and Coach Brimmer and I have been working hard throughout this season to work on my speed endurance, and we've really been focusing on my start throughout this season, and I think we've gotten it pretty much the way that we need to for Nationals. You also run the 4x100 relay. What's the difference between that 100 meter run on your own versus that relay? For the relay, it's more to make sure you have chemistry with the runners and make sure the sticks and the handoffs are the way that they should be. And we've been working a lot on that. We've added a new member to the 4x1, but we're excited about her being on there, Brianna Nelson. So that's what's different. You just have to have that chemistry between all four runners. It's not just you. It takes a team to get it done. And you're running that anchor leg, which is usually reserved for the toughest competitor among the four. How do you describe what that task is like? It's so, it's, I just feel a rush every time I run it. It's really, it's a lot of fun, adrenaline rush for sure, because you're the one that brings it in. You're the one that brings it in home and hopefully first across the finish line. And I just love to be able to do that for, for our team. And here you are in your last meet as a Longhorn. What emotions are you feeling right now? It's definitely bittersweet. I've enjoyed every second of being here at Texas. It's been an amazing experience. Like I said, it's been kind of a roller coaster ride. Um, came, came in with a lot of expectations my freshman year, but I must say that I've grown so much here, um, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. And my faith has grown so much. And after being going through what I've been through, I know that I can persevere through anything. I'm just excited, and I wouldn't choose any other place in Texas. It's the best. <laughs> Now, in bigger news, you have graduated from the University of Texas. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> What's next for you when you look past nationals? Well, I accepted a job with Texas Instruments where I'll be a marketing and communications associate in Dallas, so I'm really excited about that. I must say that the McComb School of Business has done me justice, and I'm proud <laughs> that I'm alumni from the McComb School of Business, and that's where I'll be. That's very exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. And in the meantime, good luck Thank at you. NCAA Championships. Thanks.